Hey, thanks for tuning in today. Security Strategist Series number six. We've talked about visibility, we've talked about tuning, credentials, triage, retrospection. Let's talk about your team again. Uh, you know, and I want to remind you that there's the Threat Hunting and Incident Response Summit uh, that we've been working with SANS on. Uh, coming up April 12th and 13th in New Orleans. Super excited about that. Great set of speakers. Uh, I'll be there. I'd love to, to see you there. Uh, just a lot, a lot of great people going to that. But, you know, some of the talks are focused on how do you improve your team? And it brought up an interesting discussion the other day where, you know, a lot of focus is more on like phishing and employee training and testing your kind of average employee at your company and that's great don't get me wrong you gotta do awareness training you gotta try to get everyone involved it's a team sport right security is a team sport but are you truly testing your security team are you really focusing on them with some of your drilling you know the more you sweat ahead of battle the less you bleed in battle right that was like general Patton or something but the idea of let's fight fires before they're actual fires, right? A lot of fire departments set buildings on fire and then go put them out so that when the actual fire happens, it's a lot easier to do and a lot more routine and things just click. And so is your team doing that? Are you doing incident response? Are you doing triage? Are you getting a random call saying, oh my God, the world is on fire, fix it. And making it as realistic as possible and making people think that it is a real emergency and seeing if they can keep their calm, stay uh, you know, intellectually sharp, and get things done. Because it's going to help you in the long run. And then when you do that, you can see where your gaps are, and you can maybe hire different people with different skill sets, etc. But you've got to think about the people and about are you testing your people ahead of the fight. Right. And so please, please, please think about that. In addition to regular awareness and overall corporate training, how are you testing your security team? How are you getting that feedback loop to see how good your security investment, your CISO on down, actually are? How good is that team? You need to think about that. All right. Thanks. That's it for this week. Ben Johnson, Carbon Black.